me, that you hear me, that you hear me. The 
Let's worship Him together. Come on. Hear these praises from a grateful heart. Each time I think of you, the praise is star. I love you so much, Jesus. I love you so much, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, and my soul sings. So much, Jesus, I love you so much. Let's sing it again. Hear these praises. Hear these praises from a grateful heart. Each time I think of you, each time I think of you, the praises are I love you.
Bishop, Bishop Michael Babin, come on. Tonight, you know, I'm I've been in the ministry 32 years, and I've been looking for building material for 32 years. And uh, you people hear me saying that, but they don't know what building material building material means. Building building material is people that have the heart and the life, not just the heart, but have the heart, the life. To, to, that will serve God and give God their all, Amen. their whole life, Amen. which saves your life, Amen. saves your family's life, Amen. and saves whatever life that you come in contact Amen. with Amen. if you will pray and continue Amen. to touch them as the Lord brings them. Amen. So I, I, I titled my message, A New Walk, A New Start, and a new talk. Amen. Because if you're going to walk with Jesus, it's a new walk. It's a new, it's a way that you have not walked before. John 14, 6 says, I, he said, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but through me. And so he, he, he has the way that leads you to the Father and leads you to life. So that is a walk. Um, you, if, when you follow the scripture and you follow Jesus and the way that Jesus walked and that the way that Jesus talked, it was a different way yes. than men heard before, even though there were preachers in, in his day, uh, and there's always been preachers and always been prophets, but they, they don't, uh, a lot of times, have the same message of, uh, that the, the master they say they serve oh, does. Right. Yeah. It turns right. into a tradition, right. turns into religion, right. Right. Turn, turns into a lot of opinions and church, uh, mm -hmm. church traditions too. Right. That's what I'm talking about. So I, I picked some scriptures out to, to uh, give us a guideline on, on what we're looking for while we're walking in, in the earth. And how to have uh, victory, Amen. And how to overcome? Because you have to learn that if you're gonna walk with Jesus, there's still gonna have, there's still gonna be trials and tribulations. Right. There's yeah. still gonna be problems. Right. But you have to, you can overcome every problem, right. every tribulation, everything that comes before you if you have Christ yes. right. and His right. teaching. Yes. And you have them in, 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 your, in your heart. Yes. Right. Yes. So my first scripture that I have is 3 John, the book of, is 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John, just before the book of Revelations. Right. 
It's third John that I'm looking for in verse 2. And it says, Beloved, I pray, and so this is what the apostle is saying, Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper. Amen. So you yeah. see you see how many people believe it. Yeah. I had about two people say yeah. amen. Yeah. The rest of you are stuck in your in your uh, this, uh, the muck and mire, muck, muck and mire, there's the word, muck and mire in the world, in, in, the, in the earth, and that's why you, you, you can't talk. And if you, if you don't talk, you'll never get out of your situation. And when we do normally talk, we talk about our problems. Right. Which all it does is magnify. When right. you talk about your right. problem and you talk to other people about your problem, right. all you do is magnify exactly. that problem. Right. Right. And you want people to help you, but they they look at you like a plague right. when they hear about your problem because right. they already got their own problem, right. and so they want to get away from you right. because you are a plague right. because of your problems. Right. Better learn that. You, you'll learn it anyway. You'll learn it by listening and changing, or you'll learn it by going through it. If you make it through. So he says, I pray, so you see prayer. That's why we pray in everything that we do. In the church, We when, you, when, you, when I came in, there were three ladies that were holding hands right in the foyer, Praying. Yes. Amen, and I ran into beauty on purpose <laughs> because those are the kind of things I do. Right. <laughs> but I respect them and I saw what they was doing and I honor what they were Amen. doing because yes. that's the that's the president. That's 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 what we set forth yes. in this ministry right. yes. when it comes right. to everything that we do. Yes. Right. Right. And you have to do the same thing with your life. Yes. Yeah. You have to put prayer before. That's why it's so important when you eat and you pray. Because most people are like dogs. They eat and they don't even thank God for it. They give the dog more respect than they do God, the one that is supplying the food. Because he supplies everything that you have. And he will supply abundantly. Even though, you see, listen. The problem is because... We, we don't have the abundant life right now. Right. 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 Come on. What I mean by that, when you have the abundant life, you have more than enough. Right. So then it overflows into others. Right. And that's what the life of Christ is all about. Right. But it's a process. Right. It takes time to get there. Right. It doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't mean it's not for you. It is still for you. Amen. Right. And you have to strive for that. You, you have to believe for that. Yes. If you don't believe for that, it will never come to you. Yes. Even though it is there, Jesus yes. did pay the price for it. Yes. Yes. Not just Jesus didn't pay the price just for sin. Yes. Come on. But he paid the price for you to have abundance. Yes. And the scriptures teaches that. Yes. Um, so it says in, respect, in all respects that you may prosper. And be in health. Yeah. Yes. So he wants you to prosper, but he wants you to also be in health. Yeah. Yeah. So some of us have health situations. Right. But that doesn't mean that Jesus didn't pay the price for it. Right. Right. That means that he can help you out of your situation. Yes. Yes. What I've been through, you don't come through. Right. 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 You said again. Yeah. Right. What I've been through, right. you don't come through. Right. That's right. That's right. You die. Right. Right. Oh, I mean, I actually did. Yeah. But I mean, you don't come back. You don't die and come back. That's right. 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 I'm pushing over five years, and I'm pushing, and I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah. And I have these 10 years. Hallelujah. And 15 years. Yeah. And 20 more years. Yeah. And 30 more years. Yeah. And 40 more years. Yeah. And when my birthday comes, then I have 49 because I'm going to be drawn back. That's right. right? I'm drawn back for what I already have in the kitty. That's right. Now, you didn't understand that, but anyway, that, that's, that's just that's just that's just this free part. That's your free part. Yeah. It's about health and how you see yourself. Yes. Yeah. 
I had my masseuse here at my house today, and I was explaining to her about how I live. And how I'm a, a man of vision. Yes. And I so I, I my life is vision. My yes. life is 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 uh, reaching out right. beyond right. the natural. Right. Yes. And I surround myself with those things right. but, and with the TV, with the iPad, with the word, right. with my dreams and, yes. and my yeah. uh, my hopes and my trust on, yes, sir. for my family. I mean, I just, I have all those things. And I was telling her how you have to, um, you know, have these things in your heart and in your mind and then saying them. Yeah. Right. 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 Constantly yeah. saying them. Yeah. I just don't say it because I'm a preacher in the pulpit. Right. Come on. Right. My Amen. family can tell you, though, that my mother can tell you, who's known right. me for over 50 years since yeah. she birthed me. Right. That I always was saying. Yeah. Come on. I didn't just start. All right. Cookie knows she's been with me 40 years, and I was saying it when I met her, and I'm still saying it now. Everything that I want, everything that I believe for, everything I said I would have. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 My mother and my wife made fun of me right. when I said that I would buy a house. When they couldn't figure out how I could. Right. Right. So they were laughing because they couldn't see how I could. But I could see because I have vision. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I believe that I would be able to do it and didn't know how I could. But I believe that I could and I said that I would. Amen. Amen. That's what faith is. You read yeah. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 11. But anyway, so, so being of, of prosperity and of good health, just as your soul prospers. Right. Yes. So the soul, the spirit, the soul, and body are in the here, right in the scripture, and your prosperity is connected with your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Yeah. It means your your speaking. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Is connected with your prosperity. Amen. Now, go to Joshua chapter one, and I'm happy to see the church. Okay. I'm happy to see the people that are here in the church. Yes, amen. And of course we have a lot more than the people that are here in, in my ministry because my ministry is it, it goes in outside of America. Yeah. We're connected with people all around this country yeah. and then also outside of this country. Right. So my ministry is a, a long, what did I tell you where to go? Oh, yeah, okay. So my ministry is a lot... Uh, more people than what it is here. I had more pastors than what we have here in the church just last weekend. Amen. And I sent them money. I was supposed to be there. I tried to get a ticket, but he told me just for about three or four days before conference was happening, which was a mistake on his part. If he wanted to get the bishop there from from uh, the United States, because the cost was way way too much money, because that was not wise to. to uh, but he didn't think I would be gone. But anyway, I sent money. My point is about the people. I sent money for the pastors so they could have food when they're traveling from, from all over to be with us for those four or five days. Amen. And I did buy my computer in our home church in Ghana where they could hook, hook, hook me up where they could see us in Ustream. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's got if that has I know that the pastor can see me, but I don't believe that he's hooked enough for the church right. Right. Um, to to uh, see me or see us. Which uh, I will be con you know, contact him and find out about that. But it's just like here, when there's things that need to be done, um, you have to get people that will work. Right. 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 And I've said uh, to to a number of our people that are already in positions that are working, to look for other than look for these young these young people. Right. We got a bunch of young people here. Ask the young people because right. they're more willing right. to uh, to work than uh, some of the uh, the old blocks that don't want to move. Right. Okay, Joshua chapter one. This is this is wonderful. 
uh, here about Joshua, if you know the story about Joshua and Caleb. Yes. And there was on a march. You see, the Lord's church is, on, is, is marching. And what happens is because we have this, this allotment, we think that this is the church. No, this is part of the church. We're part of the church. But the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is marching. Amen. And it's marching throughout the earth, get, uh, throwing the seed and throwing the word and the net to gather all the people, all the fish of people that want to, to have what God paid the price for, which is Jesus, for salvation. You can you have a choice, and everyone that that here that walks the earth will hear and has heard about yeah. the Lord yeah. of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. All right. And so this is what happened with with, uh, with Joshua and Caleb and Moses. Joshua was a uh, a uh, the right arm man of Moses. Right. right. It didn't right. it didn't start that way. It just be, ha evolved that way. Amen. Where Joshua began to be drawn to Moses mm -hmm. and and uh, and Moses allowed him to come close. Yes. Right. And and then what happened is that th there was a transfer of anointing yeah. from from Moses to Joshua and then and then Joshua had Caleb Right, right. Mm -hmm. So it was transferred to Caleb, yeah. and then, so then it wound up being here in, in Joshua chapter one, where Moses had fulfilled his part, which was to deliver the children of Israel from bondage and from right. Egypt, right. which is a a tremendous uh, feat. Yeah. That took place. You go to Exodus chapter 3. Exodus chapter 3. You got it? Yeah. It's Genesis and then Exodus. Verse three, chapter 3 verse 1. Now Moses was pastoring the flock of Jethro his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Verse 2. And this is where it begins. But you see, you see, no, Moses was a, was a, a pastor in the flock. Right. He was a shepherd. Right. And the Lord picked those people for a reason. Because of the heart that they had to be able to deal with sheep. Right. right. If you don't know this, sheep are so, a, a real dumb animal. <laughs> right. right. They say that the sheep is one of the dumbest animals. Right. But then the other side to the to the sheep is the sheep will will uh, they will they'll, they'll stick together. Right. But you have to guide them because they can, they will go the wrong way. Right. If you don't guide them, and they'll go off a cliff, and they'll you know go right. into some stuff that'll kill them. Right. They, they, they're stupid. Yeah. Right. But that's why you have to have a shepherd. Well, Jesus relays us as sheep. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Right. So that means there must be some similarity between us and sheep. For, for, for the, the scriptures to relate us to people as sheep and goats and sheep. Now when it comes to relaying us to the sheep, sheep are good. That's the good part of the sheep. Where the sheep stick together. And allow the shepherd to shear them. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, you didn't hear that. Yeah. You see, if you want to allow the yeah. shepherd to shear you, yeah. which means so break it down because some of you don't know about the form stuff. Uh, it, it means if you don't allow the shepherd, which is me, right. to correct you, right. then you are not a sheep. Right. You're in another category. Right. You're in the gold category. Right. And we have people in here that have been with me a long time. Right. And have, have some of them have changed from sheep to goat. And then some of them was goats all along, acting like a sheep. And so as you walk, you find out, this is not a sheep. This is a goat. Because this is a similarity with a goat. 
Anytime you, you say something to a goat, the goat headbutts you. Now, I'm talking about a real goat. It will headbutt you. That's the whole thing. It's butting you. So that's that's what people do when they have the, this goat spirit. They're goat. They're not, they're not building material. They're goats. They make your head sore. I mean, I, some of you don't know what I'm talking about, but when you, when you start walking with God and the people of God and, and you surround yourself around that, there's a change that takes place in you and there's a peace and a love that comes upon you. And when you go outside of that circle, then it's, it's a, there, it, all the stuff that you used to be aware of comes back. Yeah. Matter of fact, you turn back into a zombie right. if you go into zombie land, right. to which is the world, yeah. and stop going right. to church. Right. You will go back to what you was before you came. Right. A zombie. Right. Now, I don't have time to break down that. Right. But it is in the scriptures too, but it's not a zombie. Right. It's called flesh. I just made it zombie because flesh eats flesh right. when you're in the flesh. Right. And we do have that in the church. Right. I was just told real quick that recently that I should just talk about the scripture. Well, I said it's all through the scripture about what I'm talking about. But anyway, matter of fact, the whole six million of them that was delivered never went into the promised land because they could not be corrected. They would not listen. They would fight. They, they made the golden calf. They, they turned against God. Right. Would say we want to go back to Egypt, and right. we don't want to be out here on this this journey. Right. Right. We don't want to be uh, keep on walking toward looking for the land of Canaan. Right. We don't. We don't look. Watch this. We no longer believe right. that there's a, a, a promised land. We no longer believe right. that there's a land of Canaan. Right. And you gotta listen to what I'm telling you, because some of you believe that same foolishness that there there is no uh, prosperity. It's just the world, and it's just dog eat dog, and it's just work, and, right. and get your money, right. and keep all your money, and that's all it is. Right, right, Bishop. <laughs> if you can believe, if you believe that, then you you won't stay here in the church. Right. That's right. right. That's right. The Lord called me to train up an army that would believe. Amen. Right. Amen. And I believe that you are here because you are called to believe. Amen. Amen. So we're training believers and and, and being a part of the, the army of God that is marching. Yes. Which Amen. means moving. Amen. That's what our whole exercise was from leaving from Copperwood right. to the park yes. to, to going to the star, which we weren't they said we cannot go. The city right. father said we cannot go there. But God told me Hello. that we have to from, from Copperwood, the people Want, think the building is a church. Why? And my leaders think, certain leaders think that the building is a church and that, and that, and that they're not with me. Why? Yeah. And he kept sending prophets while, I, while I, my friends, I would bring who we know for a long time and they would keep prophesying. The, 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 uh, the change is not over yet. Why? The turnover of people is not over yet. Right. You're, you're, you do not have the leaders right. yet. Right. And I, my heart would drop to all the way by under my feet. Because right. I would say, oh no. Right. Not more of this. Right. But God would come and say, this is not it. This right. is not the group. More right. people have to leave. Right. 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 Because they, don't, they do not have the heart right. that it takes. Right. Yeah. Right. Because God wants... Unity. Yes. 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 It's yes. unity of the spirit and unity of heart. Yes. Yes. One goal, one purpose. Yes. One direction. Yes. Jesus said, Jesus said, he said, there was many ways that lead us to destruction, Jesus said. Right. But he said, but I'm the way. Right. The truth yeah. and the life. Yes. And no man goes to the Father. Now we got all these false religions right. that say, that, that we're the way, not right. Jesus. Right. right. Yeah. The, the Muhammad, they say Muhammad, Muhammad says, I'm the way to Allah. We're not, we don't want Muhammad, and we're not trying to get to Allah. Right. 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 Amen. And the same thing with the Mormons. Right. 
They're saying Joseph Smith knows the way. The demon Moroni appeared to him, and, and he was on the bees on the building, and then on off I five, and they struck God struck him down three times, struck him down from up high in gold on top of the church off of I five. Called Moroni. They says the angel Moroni, but it's a demon Moroni. It's not an angel. It's a demon. That's right. And when they put him up there, when they put that new building up, everybody's going, oh, oh. this new building. God said, wham. Yeah. Struck the demon and chopped the thing in half and it fell down on the ground. Three times. And it's still up there and people are still going to it, going there. Dumb sheep. Blind, dumb sheep. But anyway, now watch. So in verse 2, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, that's Moses, in a blazing fire from the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, the, the bush was burning with fire, yet the bush was not consumed. Right. And so Moses said in verse 3, I must turn aside now and see this marvelous sight. Amen. You do know that Moses would not have turned, he would not have been the person. Right. Yeah. That's it. That's right. Right. God appeared to him because he knew that Moses would turn. Right. Amen. Lord. Everybody has a story when, with the encounter of God. And if you haven't, you don't know Jesus yet. I had my encounter at seven years old when he spoke to me as an altar boy and told me he had work for me to do. And I, I was saying today that in what he told me, in what God told me as an altar boy, because listen, the reason why God could speak to me at seven in the Catholic church is because I was anticipating Yes. Father to tell me it's my time to ring. So I was anticipating what for Father to give me my sign. Right. And God saw that and knew that because of my anticipating and desire to hear what Father was, was going to give me my sign, God spoke from that. Amen. And in his voice and in his word, he, when he does that with all everybody. Right. Yeah. When he speaks to you, he puts in in his in his words everything, even yeah. what Jesus said, follow me. When he said that to his disciples, everything that they needed to follow Jesus was in those words. Follow me. That's it. Jesus don't have to go with a whole uh, uh, paragraph and write a book and Jesus tells you. Just a few words. And in those words is everything that you need in your life on the earth. Amen. Better hear. Because people have been praying and, 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 and looking for God to tell them something you already didn't tell them. You already didn't tell you what to do. But you don't want to do it. He already told you. Stop doing what you're doing. Right. Stop fighting the pastor. Right. Pay your tithe. Yes. I need money. I need the money. Did you pay your tithe? No, I don't. I can't. God knows. No. God don't know. He put it right in the Bible. Giving it shall be given. Press down, yes. shaking together, and running over. Luke six. 38. Yes. Yes. Will men give unto your bosom? For with the same measure that you give, it shall be measured to you again. Yes. Amen. Amen. Then, of course, all throughout the, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Then it says, and when the Lord saw, notice, verse 4, I already said this to you, now you see it in the Bible. Right. Now, when the Lord saw that he had turned aside as Moses to look, God called to him. So you see, there's a turning that has to take place. Oh, yes. There's a turning from what you want to do right. to, and to, to look and to see what God wants. Right. Yes. Right. If you do not turn, right. then you will not get the benefits right. Right. of serving God. Right. I am farther in my life than I ever would have gotten. 
Yes. 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 Right. With my basketball. Yes. And I was right there to the height. And I and I and yes. but I would have I would have lost my family. Right. Yes. And I wouldn't be alive now. Right. That's right, right Bishop. Right. Premature death would have took me yeah. because I wouldn't have had the teaching right. and I wouldn't have had the understanding. Right. I wouldn't have had the walking with God yes. Yes. Right. for over 20 years. Yeah. When it came to take me, it couldn't. Right. Right. Yeah. And I'm not right. talking about when I dropped dead. I'm talking about the stroke. Yeah, right. that's right. right. And I don't have time to get in that. But you must turn when God speaks. Yes. Yes. And you can look in your life and see when he spoke and see if you turn. Right. Right. Yes. And he'll keep coming back. Yes. So many years he'll keep coming back for you to turn. And he'll do that all the way till you drop dead. Because he's long suffering and he's kind. So when God saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the burnt of the bush and said, said Moses, yeah. Moses, yeah. called his name twice. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, here I am. Wow. Yes. Then he said, do not come, do not come near here. Right. Now here's, then here comes the commands. Remove the sandals from your feet. Yes. Command. Right. He didn't ask him. Well, you, God, that's what we think. God don't ask. Right. He commands. Right. 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 Like forgiveness. Right. Right. Come on. Right. Come on. Right. That's why one gender, one, one gender has a very hard problem. Mm -hmm. Because she wants to feel right. forgiveness. Right. <laughs> And because she doesn't feel forgiveness, she thinks the Lord is not telling them her to forgive you right, right. because she doesn't feel it. Right. It has nothing to do with a feeling. Right. It's a command. Right. Yeah. You better make sure if you got a woman or you got a girlfriend, if you or the wifey that you have, if she don't have, if she don't have to understand the command, you're gonna have a real problem. Right. And you might as well start looking up divorce papers now. <laughs> Because she will build up, she will build up yep. everything that you had done wrong right. since you've been together. Right. She she keeps record, right. and she keeps very good records, right. very good records of every time you said you would do something and you didn't. But you may have asked for forgiveness, but didn't come. Because she didn't feel it. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Because a woman wants to feel it. Or she wants to look and see if you mean it. How can you look and see if the man means it or not? If God commands it, you must forgive or you don't forgive. You don't look like he forgives. So I hear this one all the time. You did it again. Well, I said I wouldn't eat a potato chip anymore. But you know you can't just eat one lace. Even if you do say you're going to only eat one. I'll never eat cake again. I'll never say this again. Then you say it. I'm beat all the time in the pulpit. Because of things I say. Right. You cursed. Right. You did this. Well, you cursed too. Yeah. Oh, because I do in the pulpit, then I'm I'm a, I'm a worse sinner than you. Right. I always clean mine up. Right. And I do mine on purpose. Right. So that you can get it. Yeah. Right. Look at the goody twos. Right. The goody two shoes, I ain't looking for them. Right. I'm looking for people that got some mud on them. Yeah. Got some dirt on them. Yeah. That was those ones I'm looking for. Now if you're looking for the preacher, I may mean, I do got a white suit on, but see black shirt. If, 
if you if you're looking for a preacher that's goody two shoes, you come to the wrong place. I'm not him. But if you're looking for a preacher that loves God and that will speak from his heart and is trying to give you everything that he knows about God and about faith and about what God will do, I will give you that. So what if I tell, say you're driving the shitter? And you are. Right. I'm in trouble, but I did it on purpose. I'm going to try to make a point. He says, remove your sandals. I'm good to hear my, my, my boy backing me up. Big Jeff. Gabriel's always there. The, the demon told Gabriel, I'm, you're irritating me. Right. Gabriel told the demon, because see, what happens when you got demons, right. you either have to let them go out, right. Right. or you must take them out. Right. 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 That's true, Bishop. I'm talking about here in this house. Right. Right. We punish demons. That's right. That's right. So we go. It goes on here, and he says, "Remove your 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 your, your sandals from your feet." Yes. Yes. For the place on which you are standing is holy ground. Yeah. Right. But what I wanted to get to is over, over, go down and um, in verse 9 God says and behold the cry of the sons of Israel this is the church, Israel is the church of that day and, and we're the Israel of this day right. has come to me. The cry. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. The cry of the church, Israel, the sons of Israel, has come to me. Furthermore, I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. So you see, yeah. God says two things here. Right. Mm -hmm. He says, I've heard the cry. Yeah. And I've seen the hard taskmasters right. Yeah. Right. over the people of God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. My Lord. So God does see, yeah. and God does hear your cry, yeah. Yeah. and God does answer. Yeah. You must never believe, never think anything less, because right. you've got no scripture. That's yeah. right. That in, in Hebrews 11 and verse 6, he that comes to God must believe that God is. Yes. Faith. Yeah. Yeah. Must believe that God is. Faith. Yeah. Yeah. Have faith in God, yeah. and that he's a rewarder. Come on. Yeah. Of those that diligently seek Him. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we're all here seeking God. Yes. Yes. Right. I don't want to be in the pub. Mm. Right. 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 I don't want to be intoxicated. Right. right. With any substance. Right. right, Bishop. I'd rather be in the house of God. Yeah. Come on. Because like Norman always says, and he, and he goes says, I would I'd be dead and gone. And he and he he throws his hand every time. And I say, yeah. Right. Every time he says that, Jeff, I say, yeah. Amen. Ain't no way you're supposed to be back there, Jeff. They're supposed to clean you up long ago. Right. Right. But God's mercy was yeah. been on you from birth because of your dad. Hallelujah. All the dirt you were slinging in the darkness, you know they were going to clean you up. But they didn't. He kept on squeezing right. through. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. That's the mercy of God. That's the prayer. That's that's someone praying for you. Yeah. If you don't have no one praying for you, then you better pray for yourself. Yeah. That's right. You better learn how to pray. Amen. And we do teach that. Right. Yeah. And in verse ten, he says, "Therefore, verse ten, therefore come now, and I will send you." Now look at that. The Lord says, I've heard the cry. Mm -hmm. yes. I've seen the oppression. Right. And he says, now I'm going in you. Right. Right. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. Yes. He, didn't, he didn't turn around and say, okay, Moses, you go and call and I'll come. No, no he didn't right. say that. No. Right. See, we always do that. Well, that that's a religious spirit. Right. Lord. Lord, come down now. <laughs> right. And go over there on coast, we're here. And go over there in coast hey, highway, we send the Holy Spirit over on the coast highway. We ain't going to do nothing. We send him over there, and then we, we, and we and holding hands and rubbing hands and praying real hard, and we, we in agreement, 
and we send the Holy Spirit over there. He said, okay, I'll go, but I, I, you have to take me. Right. Yeah. right. Amen. I'll go if you take me. Right. right. You see, we never get that part. Right. right. We want to fish. We want to fish with the gold coin in his mouth, but we won't go. Right. We'll sit right here. Lord, bring the gold fish right here to me. <laughs> I'm going to stay right here. I pray early in the morning. I'll get up every morning. I pray and bring him right here to my door. Make, make him come on my window and, uh, and now, When I get in my car and go to work, Lord, have him come or her come. Right. Let me know. Let me know. That ain't never going to happen. Because right. you got to get out of your comfort zone right. and you got to get out in the world. Right. But you in the world anyway. Right. Right. That's why you in the world. If you're not in the world, you ain't no good. Right. That's what we're supposed to be doing our work. But then we're not, we're not, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. We don't practice their, their, uh, their practices. Uh, let me see if there's any more that I want you to get in. It's so powerful. Let's go, let's go back to Joshua. It's so powerful. I just want you to see some of the things that, 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 how it started with Moses. Right. For the for for God to deliver six million people from Egypt through one man, Amen. Right. The name of Moses. Amen. He was God's man. Yes. Right. Now it says in in Joshua chapter one, you've got it. Yes. In verse two, it says. Moses, my servant, is dead. Right. So what happens is people get stuck in things of the past. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. Failures of the past. Right. Um, hurts of the past. Relationships right. of the yeah. past. Right. Things, encounters of the past. Right. Uh, losing everything in the past. Right. And you have to let those things die. Yes. Right. Right. Amen. And start afresh and new. Right. And, that, and you do that, you're supposed to do that every day. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Until, and that's what I, what I have been doing. I've mm -hmm. uh, been doing that my whole life. But since I encountered the uh, medical, uh, well, let me just put it like this. Since I... Uh, had had become ill and sick unto death, I realized that the principles of God had to be applied right. for me to get out of this maze that I was in. Right. 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 <clears throat> and I told my wife and my family that's close to me that I have to, oh, I said as long as, no, I told them to be on alert. I told them this to be on alert. As long as I have to go in and out of this 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 uh, billion dollar industry, medical, and, and their rules and their ways, I they can kill me. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. See, so you don't know. So you you find out. Right. You you don't want to say nothing. Then you will find out. And if you don't have what I'm telling you now, you you probably won't make it out. Right. Because they're your family, and you better get your family right. right. Because they'll be unplugging you. Right. Right. Oh, yes. right. right. Tell the truth. Something that you can come out of. Right. Yes. right. But you didn't get your family right about, about the principles of God, right. and about walking in faith, yes. and yes. about calling those things that be not yes. as though they were. Right. Because yes. the doctors and the medical field call those things that are. Right. 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 Yes. To be worse. Right. 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 Yes. They always tell you the worst of this. That this is the worst thing that can happen and it's going to happen to you. Or they may say it possibly can happen. But they're not going to be telling you what, what, how you can get out. If they don't believe in that. Anyway, I, I, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not saying waste my time, but I, I'm just saying with my own life, what I had to do is I had to program my my soul. Remember, remember I gave you First John 
uh, third John yes. two. I had to program my soul, and I said, I have to push away from this medical uh, being down the industry. Yes. I got to get out of it. Yes. Right. Uh, so I, I, I go back and look in in my past, and I said, I only went to the doctor once a year. Right. 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 And that's when I was playing ball. Right. Because you have to have your medical, uh, 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 mm -hmm. what do you call it? Physical. Yeah, your physical. Right. You have to have your physical once a year. Yeah. Right. And so that was the only time I seen the doctor. Right. right. So I said, I got to go back to that. Well, since I have went back to that, I've had two hard, drop, hard doctors just drop me. Right. 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 Because they're well, could, because I've had some, some situations with my heart, right. Right. even though I don't have all the stuff that they say, and I haven't right. had all, right. nothing done right. to my heart. But I, I said I have to go back to that. So since I don't do what they say, right. which and I don't even know what they say, <laughs> yeah. I just know I haven't done what they wanted. Right. Right. So when I tell Chrissy I want to go, because I told you guys I was going to go to. To see the doctor, which is my heart doctor, to find out where what's the strength of my heart, right. since I'm on this journey right. and this march on complete healing yes. for my heart, yes. Yes. all my organs, but for right. my heart. Right. So Chrissy calls and they they had already dropped me right. in 2013. Oh. <laughs> so that's the second doctor that has just not even said anything. That, that, look at that. No letter, Mr. Babin, we're dropping you because you're nothing. You just call, you're out. You're not on the, you're not on their list, you're not there, they are no longer your doctor. And you have nothing to say about it. So I said, man, I wonder how many heart doctors there are around around. Because I'm not you better listen. Yeah. Because I'm not never going to comply to what they want me to do. Right, right. 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 I'm not going to be going every month or every three months, whatever it is, I'm not going to do it. Right. Because right. I can't be focusing in. Right. 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 Now, don't, you can't be like me, so don't try to. Right. I'm just telling you my, my walk. Right. We have some right here, looking at me right here, that when the doctor tells them, they jump. Right. And everything the doctor tells them, and the paper that they give me, they they they, they had they they came on, the, on for treatment on today Thursday, so they came yesterday, and they were giving everybody a a, a a whole long piece of paper with all kind of stuff on it for emergency food when you when you um, I guess when your house is on fire. Right. <laughs> Or I don't know what it was. I, I, so she came and she was pushing the paper into uh, on my stuff. And so I said to her, I said, um, she said, you know, you want it? And I said, no. Why? Well, I know the lady. She's been coming to me even when I, in, in, at our treatment in the Oceanside. I'm Jeannie. And, and I said to her, no, I, I don't want it, Jeannie. And she was like, yeah, but it's... Um, it's the paper that, I mean, this all of the stuff that tells you what you need to do in case there's a fire. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't want it. Right. Because right. I already know what to do in That's case right. of a fire. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to stock up beans and water and, right. and, 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 and uh, sea rats from the service. Right. I'm, not, I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't go into it right with her. I just said I don't want it because the reason why I have already too much paper. Right. I have paper, mail coming, yeah. paper, paper. Right. I, I I don't want the paper. Right. So paper that extra paper, I, I don't want it because I'm gonna come home and cook looking for another spot to put it. We have too much. Right. I'm just telling her I think. Right. I already been to a fire when the right. fires broke out and when we were in Fallbrook and right. built a house in Fallbrook and the fire was right there where you could look yeah. and see them. Yeah. And the smoke would be in your nose and choking you. Right. And they came and evacuated the, our whole area. Right. And the, the, our, the neighbors looked and saw my car was still there. Yeah. And they said, well, the bishop hasn't left. Right. 
Because I prayed, and the, and the Lord said, well, their house may be burned down, but yours won't. So I said, Cookie, of course, Cookie, my wife is not me. Right. She's because she has a different thinking. Right. I have to evacuate her okay. because they said evacuate. So my wife don't do whatever they said. Right. Put on camping boots, big hats, <laughs> crawling through the mud and getting the hole. My wife's gonna do all of that. I'm not gonna do none of it. So I took her where she could be safe in her mind. Right. And then, oh, she, oh, my wife was like a vacuum cleaner. Mr. Clean just went through all our, all our, uh, uh, what do you call them, pictures, pictures, and all the stuff like this hanging on the wall and stuff. Wham! She went through the top floor and the bottom floor, and all the stuff was gone. <laughs> on the ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder, took all the stuff. And of course, her stuff that was important. I actually, they filled up my motorhome, and I drove the motorhome over to, to, to the other house, my other house, and then they all moved in there, and then I left the motorhome there, and then I moved back to yeah. my house. Yeah. I said, I'm not, I'm not moving my chair, right. and I'm not moving my bed. Right. And the fire came and went. Right. 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 <laughs> Matter of fact, then they then they fire went over there, and then they said we got to vacuum, we got to we got to evacuate where you are, my other house. So then we had to go get them and bring them back from over that house over back to my house. But my point was the neighbor said the bishop didn't go, and so the neighbor said the bishop didn't go. We ain't going. But everybody else said they don't care what I was doing. They they, they escaped because right. fear. Yeah. But anyway, it's it's what am I telling you? It's it's your mindset. Yeah. And it's your it's your your mind has to be connected to your mouth where you speaking faith. Yeah. 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 And it's 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 what you have learned and what you have built up. And what you know about God. Right, yes. And I would quote scripture when we at my at my first our first house, when there would earthquakes would right. come. Yeah. They would shake we were in a two story. Yeah. And then and it would shake, would shake the house. Mm -hmm. And uh Cookie would wake me up and say that there's an earthquake. And the bed would be shaken. The house would be shaken. And I said, my house is built on a rock. Amen. And then I will not be shaken. Right. 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 Though the wind come, the storm yes. come, Matthew yes. 7, I said, I, I said I, and I would never even move. Right. Right. And I, my sleep, and I never, it never bothered my sleep. <laughs> He'd wake me up and tell me he's hysterical, and I'd say, what? And I'd listen, I, no. And go right back to sleep. One one time, cause he woke me up and said, uh, "9/11." I didn't even know what it was. He said, uh, "There's a um, they, they they drove the planes." Betty is in New York, her sister, and she was she was just almost hysterical. Right. Is right. Betty okay? Because she couldn't get through on the phone right. and this that. So I just connected the phone to God, yes. my phone to God, Amen. and I just prayed and said, "God, is is Betty okay?" He said, "Yes, yeah, she's fine." I said, "Okay." I never left the bed. I just stayed in my bed and I told Cookie, I said, no, Betty's fine. Right. Yeah. I stayed in the bed and went back to sleep. Yes, sir. <laughs> because in those days, you know, I wasn't doing that good. So, matter of fact, the day I was praying out in the car and, and they came and, and, and Gabriel was knocking on the window. Right. So when, I, so when I looked, well, after I woke up, I looked, <laughs> and, I, and I said, is, is Bache here? He says, yeah, he's here. He said you were sleeping in the car. So I, so I said uh, to Cookie, after I got in here, I said, did you, why didn't you come and wake me up in the car? She said, I didn't even know you was in the car. <laughs> so when you don't see me in the church, you know I'm not in that little bathroom. <laughs> you don't even think where I am? That's the way they are. 
They're concerned about making sure they got their purse and they got their little shoes and they got their makeup and, and they, they, they look in the mirror and ask, is Esther right? And, whatever happens to you, that's what happens. That's, <laughs> so that's the way the cookie crumbles. If you don't know that, but, uh, but, but see, let me say this. I knew in my spirit that Gabriel would come to the window and knock, and I was there like uh, almost about 545 mm -hmm. this afternoon. Right. And I had seen in my spirit while I was praying in tongues, I seen Gabriel coming to, the, to my window and knocking on my window. Mm -hmm. So when, when I saw Diana's car, I thought it was Gabriel's car right, right. next to mine. I said, when, when I saw the red car, I said, well, that gave a pull on the side of me. That's the way it's supposed to be. Right. And so then I prayed and slapped. And that's just what happens. Amen. When, you, when you've been through and what are you going through, like what I've been through. Yeah, and, right. uh, I won't be ridiculed or persecuted because I, right. I go to sleep. Uh, that's right. right. That's right. I, 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 I will put on you what I have on me and, and what I've been through. We'll see where you are. Right. Right. See how you come out. But anyway, in my spirit, I knew Gabriel would come and knock, and he did. Amen. I thought it, it, it was Diana's car. I kept looking why was Gabriel hadn't come to the win to my window, because I keep seeing the red car. And, it's, and I then I finally focused in. I said, "This is Diana's car. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like Cookie. <laughs> She's not going to come and knock on my window." <laughs> Because what the other side is they're afraid. Right, right, right. They're afraid because they, because the, the bear will roar. You see, some fear still grip them instead of the, you know the, the safety and the protection that's in the woman should over overcome the fear and, and say he. I said I could have been slumped over dead in the car. Right. No, it was true. I'm good at it. They came, that's what they came and found Garth in his car. He slumped over in his car. Yeah. So don't think it's not. It can't happen. It ain't going to happen to me. Right. It, it can't happen. Now we're, let's go to 1 Corinthians 3. I'm still building. I'm still looking for building material. I hope I'm helping you. 1 Corinthians 3. I appreciate that. those amens. When you when you were plowing and, and uh, digging, yeah. and you hear that amen. Yeah. It does yeah. something. Yes. Yes. It just it, you know it does something in your yes. spirit. Yes. Yes. You are down there, so you don't know. But if you was up here, somebody gave you an attaboy and encouragement, yeah. you feel good. Oh, yeah. It pushes you to go more. Yes. Now look, First Corinthians chapter three, and listen. Because I've done this for a long time, all the sensations are still the same. Like when I played ball, anytime that before the game, I would always be nervous. It don't make no difference. I know how to play. I'm ready to kick some butt. But I always had that little nervous before the game. But when the ball went up, for the tip, Different ball game. Mm -hmm. right. They were no more nervous. Right. It's the same right. as in the pulpit. Right. Yeah. When you know, it, for me, is to get to my pulpit. Right. Yeah. That's what I kept on saying all the different times. That yeah. it looked like I wasn't gonna make it. Right. I kept saying, but if I get to my pulpit, if I get to the church, yeah. Yeah. I'll make it to my pulpit. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And I, I had that had that in my heart, even though my body would say we can't make it. Yes. Wow. Wow. And, and uh, you know, so many things going on. I said, I'd come from intensive care. My legs say we can't stand up. Right. We too weak. Right. Wow. I said, just get me to the church. I tell right. Her, right. Who, most of the time it would be Gabriel. I said, get get me to the church. Wow. Take me to the church. Yeah. 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 And if I make it to the church. Let me get me to my seat. Yes. And then I say to him, after the praise and worship, because I know I'm going to get stronger as the praise yes. and worship goes. Yes. Right. Yes. I said, then come and pull me up. Yes. Right. 
Even if you have to pull me up from that seat and pull me up these stairs, pull me up. Right. For me to get to where God called me to be. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Now, my pulpit is not just here. Right. 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 Come on. I'm preaching. Gabriel knows I, I prophesied to four or five doctors. Right. Read their, read their mail. Right. right. And they'd be coming back to me. They come daily anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, they don't come daily, but my, my doctors came daily. Uh, just because of the prophetic and the word that I had given. But then that's a whole other story. But making your pulpit wherever you go yeah. is what yeah. Jesus did. Yes. Yes. Amen. He went into the temple, but his, some of his greatest sermons were not in the temple. Right. They were outside of the temple. Yes. They were on the side of a mountain. Right. Well, some of his greatest uh, preaching was on a fishing boat. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. cast out a little bit of far ways from the water, from right. the shore. Right. They put they put him in that fishing boat, push him out of so the people couldn't get him. Right. And he preached from there, mm -hmm. and he'd make that nasty fishing boat his pulpit. Yeah. Right. Wow. He would turn that fishing boat into an altar. Yeah. 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 Right. I do it all the time, Bache. When I come over there to see you guys, yeah. I turn that whole mechanic area. They come in. And, they, they, and every one of them come because of his daddy and him. They call me Bishop. And so they all introduced me as Bishop. Right. Yes. And, 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 and Cain right. introduced me as Bishop. And I go there and I sit there. Right. God loved to be around the mechanics yeah. where they working on cars. My car. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And other cars coming in and going out. I love that. I've done that for 40 years. Right, right. And so, but I'm, when I'm there, I'm preaching. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. I'm touching, I'm talking. That's right. I'm releasing. Yes. Yes. Right. Not just here, it's everywhere right. I go. Right. Right. And I mean that. I'm not, you have to learn how to do that. Right. Yes. Right. And it's just giving you a testimony. Right. Amen. When, when Diane came to the house of Masseuse, I I, uh, I just released a little bit of my testimony to her. Right. And the way that I, I, I put that on her, it just, she said she was tired, she was falling asleep coming, coming over to my house this afternoon. Mm -hmm. When she got to the house, all of a sudden she got a burst. Right. Which I already told her that anybody that comes to help me, yeah. right. when you come to my kingdom, right. you automatically gonna get sprayed, right. Right. sprinkled. Yeah. And lifted a beyond. Yeah. beyond. Yeah. 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 So I said, no, I didn't have her. I don't keep having her because I didn't think she could take the beating. Because right. <laughs> I was constantly beating on her. Right. Yeah. Right. Because she was, she was not, she was living below her means. Right. And I, and when you get around me, yeah. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to beat you. Right. But not right. like I'm like a. Uh, not not like with the with the with the handcuffs and the black what do they call that bondage. Not like the bondage beating. Right. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna push you yes. because the scripture yeah. talks about the inward the inward beatings yes. cleanse. Oh, yeah. it, it cleanses the inner inward parts. Right. The beatings of the Lord cleanse right. the inward parts. That's yeah. right. So that's what I do. Right. But it's just so that I, because I know. By the Spirit, right. what God wants to do for you, right. and that's to give you a, 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 an abundant life. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm not at the abundant life, but I'm striving for it. Yeah. 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 Because I know that Jesus paid the price for it, and I won't anyway. Right. Let's watch this now. You got First Corinthians three, yeah. Yeah. verse one. It says, and I, this is the Apostle Paul, which is Spirit speaking through him. And he said, and I, brethren, could not speak to you as spiritual men. So he wanted to speak spiritual truths and principles to these men. He said, I can't. He said, but as to me, he said he couldn't because they were men of flesh. He said, I, I could not speak to you as to spiritual men, but as to men of flesh, as to babies in Christ. Right. Yeah. And we recently had incidents for the last 32 years, 
and we've had people that's been with us from from then until now come and go, and we're still dealing with with these baby fleshly circumstances, which keeps us from building and getting to where we need to be, which is out in the world. Amen. Affecting the world for Christ. Yes. When we have this all this stuff going on in the house. Yes. So Paul had that problem. God had that problem in heaven. Jesus had that problem here right. on the earth. Right. And so it's no you don't need me thinking that I'm not gonna have the same. That's right. right. That's why he gave us the scriptures. Now notice what it said in verse 2. And I gave you milk to drink, Amen. not solid food. So God wants to give us solid food. Right. Yes. But he said when you when you when you a baby, mm -hmm. which means fleshly, yep. you can't handle the solid food. Oh, right. Right. Which is you won't know what one of them is? Turn the other cheek. Right. 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 Want to hear another one? Love your enemies. Right. You want to hear another one? Do good to those that despitefully right. use you right. and speak against you. Right. You want to know the solid food? That's solid food. Right. When we have to uh, spend time and take away from the building of the house, yes. To go and deal with people that have been with us for 15 and 20 years or more Why? with fleshly stuff. Why? And these people are the ones that are hurting our young people. Why? So you people that have been with me a long time, you need to have the mercy yeah. on people that have just come in. Yeah. Yeah. Not expect them to be like you, right. which think about it. Right. You're not something yeah. that would even be a, right. when you are attacking them right. with a religious spirit and so many other things. Right. That's not Christ-like. Right. You get to wagging your head and tell you, I'm not gonna. It's a, what else? All that's flesh. Right. Cursing. Right. <laughs> Pointing your finger. Right. <laughs> And I'll kick you. What is all of that? Right. In the church. Right. Wow. And you want to get on me for calling it your car an Esser? Right. 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 That's why I do it. Right. No, really. Right. He says, verse 2, I gave you milk to drink, not solid food, for you were not yet able to receive it. Right, right, Bishop. Right. Indeed, even now, you are not yet able. So he's striving with them, saying right. that you should be. Right. You should be already past all these things. Right. And you are not. Right. Verse 3. He says, for you are still fleshly, for since there is jealousy. Notice. Right. He's giving the baby uh, yep. uh, when you fill your diaper up. This is how you know you're a baby in Christ when you're jealous. And we have it raging in the church. Upset because someone gets a new car. Upset because someone got the, got the, uh, the Prince Charming and, it, and didn't know it was a frog. No, we got women that... I mean, I'm, that, that, that's my, my Prince Charming, but it's a frog. <laughs> and so we got women that want the frog. Oh, yeah. They think it's Prince Charming, but they don't know it's a frog. Right. <laughs> or the same thing with the woman that oh, think that, that she's a princess, but she's not. Right. <laughs> because five years from now, she'll be 320 pounds. <laughs> Won't go to church and won't this and won't that and talking about all the stuff she's not gonna do and that's the one that you think is the one. You better pay attention. What is jealousy? Now watch this. 
and strife. The strife. We we have great services on Sunday yeah. and before this before we right. release yep. out into the out right. in the foyer there's there's fighting right. 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 man striking the woman right. 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 men wanting to fight right. man coming from the outside drive they're not even in the church drives up wants to fight. Right. <laughs> because he wants one of the women in the church. <laughs> but the, the reason why all those things happen is because you have you you sold that. Right. Now you're trying to get out, and then, then the world is calling for you right. and saying, "I'm going to get you. You got to stay with God and stay in the church. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure I'm going to stay in the church. I'm going to keep on praying because that's where the safety is." Talking about for the woman and the man. Yeah. The woman, you stay in church. He, he, the dog is not gonna come in the church. Right. He may come to the back right there, but as soon as that power hits him, right. he'll say, "Oh no, this is that that light and that power. The light, yeah, and that power. And he's in the darkness. He's gonna say, this is not the place right. that I need to be. Right. And he'll get out and go back into the darkness. But he will be calling you." Right. Where strife and jealousy is. Yeah. Yeah. It's in your Bible. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Where there is jealousy and strife amongst you, right. are you not fleshly? Right. And are you not walking like mere men? Right. When you when you walk into the flesh, you do not have the power. Right. Come on, say it. And we're supposed to walk in the spirit yes. and the power of Jesus. Amen. Right. You can't have both. Yes. Right. That's right. That's it. That's you can't right. have both. That's right. Right. It goes on and it gives more examples, but I want to push over to the foundation in the same chapter. In verse uh, 10, he says, According to the grace of God, which was given to me, so he's saying, as a wise master builder, so that's that's what Paul was. I lay a foundation. Yes. I'm I'm of the same spirit. Right. Yes. I'm of the same mold, a master Amen. builder. That's Amen. right. Amen. And I'm a father in Israel. Right. Now that wasn't the plan for my life, but that's what He's made me. That's right. Amen. So when people see me, they see that. Right. Amen. Yeah. And there's a safety that comes with that. Right. Yes. And there's a, a government and a command also that comes along with that. Come on. Yes. And I will both. Amen. It says that another builder, uh, one builds upon it. Yes. Let each man be careful how he builds upon it. Right. Yes. In verse 11 he says, For no, no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, right. which is Jesus Christ. Right. So Jesus is what lays the foundation in your life. Amen. Right. If you don't serve Jesus, what kind of foundation you got? Right. <laughs> foundation on a on a Budweiser. Right. right. Foundation on a on a, uh, a, a being being uh, naked and in the flesh with somebody. That's your foundation. That foundation is not going to last. <laughs> having a marijuana foundation, having a, a appeals foundation, having a gay foundation, having a, a, a crisis of not knowing what, what gender you are. I'm a man, but I think I'm a woman, and I want a big moo moo and, and, and makeup, and I want the women to teach me how to wear high heel shoes. And you got all this a crisis going on that you don't know. You're looking at the mirror, and you're saying, I want to be you a man. You said, I want to be a woman. Or you look in the mirror, you see that you're a woman, and you say, I'm going to make myself a man. I'm going to cut my hair off. Right. I'm going to wear man's clothes. I'm going to wear a suit like a man. Right. You can do all that, but you ain't a man. Because right. right. God talked to the woman because God right. didn't make you a, a, a man. Right. He made you a woman. Right. Right. Thank you. Right. <laughs> right. 
I'm saying you have all those different Amen. foundations, yes. but it's only one foundation that will last. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, sir. You can have a foundation built upon the finances. Yes. And I went to school and I learned and I'm a banker yes. and I'm this. But when the banks fail, yeah. you right. gonna fail. That's right. right. When the millionaires weren't millionaires no more, they right. killed themselves right. back in the depression. Right. Yeah. But those people that would sing those old songs, yeah. Yeah. that was already poor and didn't have nothing, right. they'd sing those songs and they'd go to church and they would sing about Jesus. Yeah. And they sang themselves right yeah. through the depression. That's right. That's right. They sang themselves and praised themselves yeah. and got food every day. Yeah. Yeah. Where there was no food to get, they got food every day. Amen. Yeah. That's good, Bishop. Because they had the foundation of Jesus. Yeah. Woo. That's right. That's what pulled me through. When I got in trouble and was in jail. I remember those songs that I was singing. Come on. Just a teenager and I sing those songs about Jesus. And I couldn't sing, but I would sing. Jesus, name above all names. Yes, hallelujah. Beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with me. I'd say me. Yeah. <laughs> because I was in jail. Yes. You out under the stars and looking at the, the, the moon and, and I go, I'm in jail. <laughs> now I got some foolings that's going on in there. Right. right. In C block. I began to read my Bible. And eat on the Bible because I remembered. Yes, sir. When you get in a mess, you go back, you remember. Yeah. I had that foundation. Yes. Yes. I do. Right. It was still laid inside there. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. And I told the Lord when I was in there, I said, Lord, I went astray. I said, but I'm, I'm and he spoke immediately to me. Yes. He was started speaking immediately to me. Yes. And told me what he was going to do. And how he was going to deliver me. Mm. Yeah. And how he was going to put me back on track. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. Yeah. And how he was going to get me out. I said, but I, how you can't, I can't get out. He said, I'm going to get you out. They're coming to get you out. Matter of fact, he said, they're coming to get you out today. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> right. I know my car had broke down. Right. And Cookie didn't have no way. She gave her new car to her sister. Which was crazy, I thought, but her sister needed, I guess, more than us. I said, we needed it. It was your car. You need to have it. But no, she, that's how she was. She gave her a new car, and so she, we had the S. <laughs> which is my Chevy. Right. And it went down. I'm thinking, how could Cookie, I, I wasn't even thinking about Cookie. I didn't know why I said, I, I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Right. And God told me, I was reading the Bible that, that morning, reading Psalms. He said, you're going to get out today. Amen. Amen. Just as clear. And I'm like, and I was out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. That day. Yes, sir. Amen. Because I came back. So it, takes, it don't take long. Right. It don't right. take long. Right. Thank you, Jesus. We think it takes long when the religious spirit tells you, no, you didn't mess up. Boy. It's going to take you so long before you get right. right. God is going to hold it against you. No. Lie. Right. That's a lie. Yeah. I've never experienced that in my whole life. I experienced when you pray yes. and you ask God, He's there. Yes. Yes. He's there. Amen. My whole life. Amen. Okay, let's see. Oh no, I want to give you some more. Oh yeah. Um, verse 12. Now if any man builds upon the foundation which is gold, silver, and precious stones. Yep. Three. Gold, silver, precious stone. Yeah. This this is the this is building material. Yep. Right. Amen. 
or wood, hay, or stubble. The wood, hay, and stubble is building material, but it won't last through the fire. Right, right, right. It won't last through the purging. It won't last through the temptation. It won't last through the trials and tribulations. It won't last. So you got to make sure that you are one of the three: gold, silver, precious stones. Now, let me let me push you over to Mark four real quick and give you. The five, the five foundation I have it in my amplified, which I want to read it out of that because it's so strong. Right. It, it's talking about the, the sowing the word, and make sure I got it right. It really starts in 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 verse. Uh, let's see. It starts in 13, but I want to move, move. <laughs> well, because of time. And it says in verse uh, four, I said, Mark four. I said that right off the bat. Yes. The older people, some of them have to turn to turn the hearing aid. <laughs> turn it up. And then the other thing is what happens is the distraction is that the, those people are talking. Right. right. They're talking while they should be listening. Right. right. So they're talking so they didn't hear uh, Mark 4. Which I guess we all are guilty of that at some time. Right. Especially when we don't know, know uh, about church. Right. But, it, but it's funny that people do know and they still have those goat tendencies. <laughs> also, uh, I, was gonna, I didn't even deal with the wolf today. But he's there too and he has to be dealt with. Yeah. We, 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 we kill the wolf. We don't run him out, we kill him. Now, that's the spirit. Now in verse let's see, 15 it says, and these are the ones who are beside the road where the, where the word is sown. So number in verse 14 it says, the sower sows the word. Right. So God is the one that sows the word. And then of course he uses servants to sow the word. Yes. And this is what that I do and, and all of us should be doing. Amen. Is sowing the word out Amen. into the world. Amen. Amen. And this is what takes place. And that's why there's a turnover in church because people don't have what it takes to 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 um, what's what's that word that I'm looking for? Um, persevere. They don't have the perseverance because they don't know what it takes. Now look in verse 15. It says, I'm reading out Amplified now. It says, the, 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 uh, the ones along the path, so this is the first, mm -hmm. along the path. So it says, those have the word sown in their hearts. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when, when the, but it says, but when they hear, Satan comes, right. which means they're so familiar with Satan. Right. And what, what we don't understand, we think Satan comes like a, a demon, a big, big Satan comes. <laughs> but that's not what it is. <laughs> what it is, he's already in you, the enmity, right. which is in the flesh, right. which is in unrenewed mind, right. unrenewed soul. Right. So he's already there. So when you hear the word, he immediately in your unrenewed mind goes, that's not right. Yes. I don't believe that. Right. And so he wins. He, he takes the word. So right. Satan comes at once. This is Amplified. And by force mm -hmm. takes away the message which is sown in your heart. Right. Wow. Yeah. Which is sown in them. So this is what happens, we read this, but we don't understand. Yeah. This is what happens in the church. Yes. When you ask somebody to come to church, and they come to church, and then they never come again. Right. 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 Some are so happy, but then they never come again. Yeah. And you understand, well, what's wrong? It's because Jesus gives us the principles. Right. 
Satan came immediately and stole the word. Mm. Oh, my God. Because they had no foundation. I gave it to you just earlier. Right. No foundation of the word. No foundation of Jesus. Right. They don't know what it means to serve Jesus. Verse 16, Jesus said, And in the same way, the one sown upon rocky ground. So the first one is along the path. That's the first uh, heart is along the path. The second heart is stony ground. Are, are those who when they hear the word, so notice it's a hearing again. When they hear the word at once receive and accept and welcome it with joy. We, we, I, we, I've experienced those people by the thousands come to this service it's not many services like ours. Right. 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 Not many in the county, not many in, in the California. Right. Now there are a lot of services. Right. A lot of bigger churches, right. but they don't carry the power. Right. Nor the presence. Right. Nor the preaching. Right. Like we do. Right. 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 Amen. But we are for the hundred photos. We're looking for the hundred photos. Yes. And I have to make room for the 30 folders and the 60 folders. The 30 folders are the zombies. We have to make room for the zombies, which are flesh eaters, which is only concerned about their flesh. We have to make room for them, or we, we can't grow to where we want to be. And then, the, and then you have the 60 fold, which is the, between flesh and spirit. That's the 60 fold Christian. Have to make room for them. Right. I've always pounded, and everybody with me is always pounding for the hundredfold. Right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. That's the truth. And that's guess that's my downfall, yeah. but it's also my upfall. Come on. Because right. Right. I kept the army where others have not been able to. Right. 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 That's right. true. Right. That's true. Right. And that's part of what uh, what saved my life. Yes, right. Amen. 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 is the building of the church. Right. In verse 17, in other words, a place where my children can come and, f and find rest. Yes. Yes. Amen. Where my children can grow into what they are now, adults. Yes. Come on. They had to grow into that. If, we, right. if I didn't have the church, where would, I, where, where would we be? Right. Right. Yeah. Where would my children be? Right. 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 <coughs> Verse 17, this is an amplified. And they have no real root. So he said, see, he's dealing with the, the people that received it with joy. Yep, right. The stony ground yep. mm -hmm. received it with joy, but they had no root. Right. No foundation. Right. No root in themselves. Right. Yeah. In themselves. And so they endured, look, so they endured for a little while. Right. <laughs> Then when trouble, first thing comes is trouble. Right. They're gone. Right. That's true, Bishop. Or persecution. Right. You going to Genesis? Right. The place that I left. Right. Mm. Come on, my God. The Bishop Babin, he's not a bishop. Oh. And you got this and that. Yes. Yeah. All of this stuff that they got to say mm. out their backside. Yes. Right. 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 Persecution arises. You going with Jesus? You one of those Jesus freaks? What kind of freak are you? I'm a mainstream. Then you see two women holding hands. Oh, so they pass the court. The, 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 the Supreme Court passed the, the, yeah. the thing about gays, they're just completely out of control. Right. <laughs> More now everywhere. You see two women right. holding hands, right. you see two men right. holding hands. It's everywhere. Right. Don't make no difference. It's still wrong. That's right. Right. Yes, right. yes. Right. 
and it will take you to hell. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. And it will give you some A's on the way. Yeah. 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 Right. On the way. Yeah. The persecution arises on account of the word. They immediately are offended. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Become displeased, right. arrogant, right. resentful, right. and they stumble and fall away. Right. This is the same people that receive it with joy. Right. <laughs> That's right. You meet the old praise the Lord, I received Jesus. And then they have no root, no foundation, right. never came back to the church. Right. I can do it without God. Right. Let me finish these two verses. Verse 18, we have to come back and hit this stuff anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it says in verse 18, and the one sown amongst the thorns. Right. Number four. Mm -hmm. The thorns. Yes. This is in the heart. All these are the heart. Yes. The one sown amongst the thorns are others who hear the word. Notice they all hear the word. Right. 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 And they all have different responses. Right. Right. And the only ones that will work are the ones that have hear the word and have good soil. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 Those are the only ones that will last. Right. And that's you people. Right. Amen, Bishop. Yeah. Verse 19. Then the cares, now notice what it tells you. These right. are thorns. Right. Then the cares and anxieties. Right. Mm. I bet they sell us so much anxiety pills. I have Christians that just rush it out of their mouth. I have, I'm, a, I, I'm, I have anxiety. Christians, when I hear that, I know. Well, you don't know Jesus. That's right. That's right. I'm talking about living for Jesus, because He crushes anxiety. And you don't have a prayer life. Yeah. Right. Can't have a prayer life and not have an anxiety. Right. You have to get rid of that demon. Because that demon will bring you to a heart attack. Anxiety, and what's that? Uh, stress. Anxiety and stress, they work together. They cousins, they work together. And stress will make all kind of crazy things happen. Oh, yes. yep. <laughs> and you'll be on the way to dying. Right. Matter of fact, you'd rather die than be where you are. Right. Your condition wow. would be so bad. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yep. Say it, Bishop. Dude, anxiety, cares, anxiety, stress. You can't even sleep at night. Right. <laughs> worrying about your bill. Right. What good is worrying about the bill going to do? Right. Think about it though. What is it going to do? What good does that do? Right. You stay up all night worrying about what I'm going to do with this bill. Right. My wife used to tell me, oh, well, it's 40 years. I was going to say 20 years ago, but it's 40 years now. My wife would come and say, she'd give me the medical bill. And I'd go, what, what is it? I said, the medical bill? I said, I ain't thinking about the doctor. Right. She, she'll tell you. I said, what? I'm not, I, that's the way I am. Yeah. I cast it off of me. That's right. Yeah. I said, I ain't thinking about the doctor. Bill. I'm not thinking about no bill. Not even now, no bill. Right, right, right. I, I, I can think about a lot of them. Matter of fact, I can have a heart attack just talking about it. Right. I can die right now just thinking about it. But I don't think about it. And people say, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? What about it? I gave that to Jesus. I buy a car and I have a car payment. I, when I get my car, I say, this, Lord, here's my car, here's my payment. You gave me a car, I believe you for it. You gave me the car, and you pay for it. Yeah. That's where I am. You gave me this building, you pay for it. You gave me the other building, you pay for it. You gave me my house, you pay for it. You got all these other string of bills that come from getting the house. Right. A string of bills. Right. They come. Yeah. I say, you, you, you can take care of it. I, I always have been that way. I shake it off. Yeah. Even when I wasn't cashing my care, my wife was telling me, I said, oh no. <laughs> oh, I paid, I paid the, the, the essentials. 
Yep. Right. I pay rent. Yep. I pay lights. Right. I pay food. Right. <laughs> water. Right. My wife has a hundred dollar water bill. Her and Gabriel, this is some sick people. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> and they got to have the best water. Yeah. Right. They can't just drink water. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you can't, they can't have the spout, you know. The, no, no, no. No. No, no, not that one. They got to have it from Carlsbad. <laughs> Alkaline. What is it? Alkaline. They got to have Alkaline. <laughs> <laughs> from from the from the spring. from the spring from the well, well yeah. right. real spring yeah. well right. that's what they gotta have. I can't be drinking all that water. I can't be drinking no fluid because of what I'm dealing with. So I just get a little shot if I had to take some shot. That's a shot. Right. That's what that's my life. But I I don't hold, I don't restrict them. Right. Amen. I said, what? <laughs> right. 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 I don't go like this. No. <laughs> Give it to me. Right. 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 I'm serious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do do that. Yes. 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 My whole life, every game I played, I prayed, I, I prayed. Amen. I mean, everything in my life has always been that way. I, 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 live, I live this. I know that if you pay your tithe, yes. that God will make a way supernatural. Yes. Yes. It may not look like it, but He will. He will. He can. You got to, you got to believe that he, that he can. And then that He will. I gave you Hebrews 11, 6. He can and He will. Yes. And you have miracles from me. As a matter of fact, somebody was just telling me you, when we're done for the night. Somebody was just telling me all the miracles that they just had just recently. I don't remember who that was that was by me. Is that, who was it? No, I know we are. Are you talking about the school? No. Because of what? Not just since she didn't Maybe wasn't. some of all the miracles that God has worked for my daughter since she went to law school. Which is which is true, but it's up wasn't it wasn't Christina. I wasn't thinking about her. But it's true, she's got a lot of miracles. But hey, you know, if you serve God, that's what you're gonna have. If you believe in God, you serve in God, you're gonna have miracles. Yes. I don't know if that might have been Selena telling me about the things that God has done. I don't know who that was. One of my little soldiers was telling me just recently all the things that God has done. But anyway, you know, um, we need to, we need to, uh, who was one? Selena was one. We got we had some new bunch of cars just bought last month. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. How many got cars last month? One, two, three, four. Oh, that's right. Glad he bought a new car. Amen. And then people say, "Well, you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't get them to get." Uh, a car with a car payment because Christian wants an envelope. You shouldn't give them a because then that's a car payment. But my, my deal is if you have a new car, it's great to have a new car. Right. Right. One thing, and then the next thing is you're going to pay for your OSR, he's going to break down, right. and uh, it's going to be more than a payment. Yeah. You know, your, your brakes will go out, something else will go out. Your transmission will go out. Right. That's three, four thousand dollars. It depends on where you go. Right. You better not go to Amco. Right. <laughs> Amco make up some stuff. Right. Right. Everything. Anytime you go to Amco, it's over three thousand dollars. That's automatic. 
<laughs> automatic. Over three thousand dollars. We experienced that over first, about thirty-five years ago. Uh, I saw we experienced firsthand, mm -hmm. and uh, I've dealt with them several times. I said I can't ever go back there. Over three thousand, and, and, and they lie. Right. I was just I was on the run. I will tell you some somebody else. I can't tell you what it was. Be lucky. <laughs> but the brakes, your brakes will go out. You oh, your track, your engine will blow. Yeah. And women that don't check the water. And that what I was getting there. <laughs> Did you want to say it? But because you don't, women don't check the oil, right. nor do they change the oil. Right. right. They don't check it, right. nor change it. Right. They just drive it. Right. And they wanted to drive forever. Right. They don't even put air in the tires. Right. Right. My wife will ruin a brand new tire but I, because it runs because it needs air. Because we had these rims and the rims would, would leak air. Yeah. I said, and I tell her, just go, it's free. They give it to the free. She wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> I had to change the whole tire, put it like see the face. <laughs> but it's true. They won't put air. She's trying to clean it up now. <laughs> Oh, we can all stand. But it's the truth. And that's a, that's when he has to come up with a couple hundred bucks, unexpected. Right. Yeah. And that's a lot. Yeah. Any, any, we'll, we'll see what we got going on in that now. Servant leader meeting. Oh, we got the department head meeting. Right. On Saturday at Clinton's house. And we have the youth mission tomorrow night at 6 30 at Ms. Bell's house. Yeah, youth youth meeting at Bell's house. Tomorrow night, 6 30. Tomorrow night at 6 30. So the youth meeting is tomorrow night. And uh, you the youth needs to be growing. We need to get the youth evangelizing. We're not trying to make a little club. Amen. All, all our departments, we got, we have to evangelize. Yeah. Amen. The church, I'm looking to grow. Wow. Yeah. Amen. We, we're turning. The church is changing and yeah. evolving. Yeah. Right. Into the, you can see how many young people that's with yeah. us, right. Yes. Right. which is exciting for me. Yes. Yeah. It means work, but I'm ready to work. Yeah. I'm ready to build. Uh, um, I just have that zeal that God has put in me yeah. to, to to do it again. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and do it better this time. Right. And we're not going to be spending a lot of time on some of the things I said today. But I have to, you have to deal with it in the pulpit. Right. Because right. I have to deal with it in the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, any, so we got a department. Anything else? We have got a youth meeting tomorrow. The pastor, uh, it's be the youth pastor is Christopher. And then Monday there won't be any church on Monday night. Monday's a, no, Monday, uh, Monday is a holiday. No, it was something that Shante did. Somebody, oh, Shante brought Alan. Alan. Christopher? Yes, sir. You brought Alan. And yes, that's right. And it was, well, of course, Christopher. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a I and his wife. I said, you brought Alan and his wife. <laughs> no, that's great, but I'm just saying. That's wonderful. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. That's the way it goes. That's right. That's true. That's true. No, no, listen. That's wrong. If you get the man, that's right. The woman will come. And if she won't come, if he's a man, which we get there, we're hard. I'm looking for men. We have a whole bunch of them that say men, but they're not. Because the man orders. The house, right. and if you if you if a woman won't come, then she, I say get rid of her. Right. That's my my philosophy. Right. If she's not gonna come to church. Then you what, what you got? Right. right. You got a mess. You got a mess already. You can keep a mess. Yes. Right. To give her a few times, pray, and if she don't want to come, <laughs> even if you divorce anyway, right. you're not gonna serve God and ain't gonna work. I don't care. Right. You'll be in separate rooms after 40 years. Yeah. You'd be in separate rooms, and you won't even speak to each other. All right. Anyway, that's my philosophy. Now, I love women. They're the most faithful in the house. We know all that. Right. Right. So that's why I can't go into this thing. What is the word? No, no. Yeah. I'm looking for men. I'm always looking for men that will serve God. The wife will come. Come on. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
because she is more faithful. That's my deal. I'm not going into the, all that other stuff. Next. <laughs> all right, you just missed. I'm sorry to keep you so long. God bless you. If you need prayer, come up and we'll pray for you. It was amazing.